Sahar and today I would like to share some a few tips regarding um, a gynecological ultrasound protocol. Um, so after identification of the patient's uh, reason uh, of having the gyne ultrasound, uh, getting the last menstrual period, um, it's better to start with transabdominal ultrasound and getting the six images. Um, and then to proceed transvaginal ultrasound. Some of the cases are uh, good enough transabdominally that it doesn't require to proceed by transvaginal ultrasound. Uh, but some of them, um, the pictures are not very clear due to uh, high BMI or due to a lot of gas shadowing. So preferably to proceed by transvaginal ultrasound after emptying the bladder. So transabdominally, what we require is a mid-sagittal view in which we see the whole um, uh, uterus um, and we sweep it uh, right and left till the whole pictures get disappeared and then we are uh, aiming also to see the cervix uh, in a mid-sagittal view and at the same time seeing the endometrium. Uh, after that we will just um, change the probe in a transverse uh, view to get the transverse view of the of the entire uh, uterus with the cervix and sweep it up and down. The same thing we're going to do it in the side way uh, in the right and the left adenixia to see if there's any adenixial pathology or ovarian pathology. So we're going to sweep uh, a right, mid sagittal view and a transverse view. Uh, so total amount of picture will be like uh, six to eight. And then after that, we'll proceed after asking the patient to empty the bladder uh, to do a transvaginal ultrasound. Um, but for transvaginal ultrasound, it's better to do it in an uh, uh, like in a direct uh, 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 unfreeze mode uh, and in the direct vision. So at least um, you can know exactly the relation of the urethra uh, from the vagina and, um, and the rectum as well. Uh, and go uh, while telling the patient uh, with a good lubricant while telling the patient so she can relax as well as possible. And then the direction. For the direction of the probe, uh, if we started with mid sagittal view, so it means um, we need to see the whole length of the um, of the uterus, including the cervix, uh, and uh, as well, uh, we're going to see the height of the uterus. Uh, so this is the two measurement of the uterus which is required. And at the same time, on the same mid sagittal view, we're going to complete the examination of the endometrium to see which kind of endometrium is it thick, is it thin, is there cystic changes and include the color doppler if it's required in case of iud or 3d you want to do it or in case of uh, there is kind of pathology that you want to know if there is some mucus uh, fibroid or polyp uh, or thickened endometrium that you want to go in detail which required a color doppler uh, so this is all examination in the mid sagittal view try to sweep till the whole uterus goes disappeared so at least by this you're doing a cut section in a mid sagittal view without missing any pathology after that, change the probe into transverse view. So the sweeping will be different in this way. It will be up and down. So the whole way up to the fundus, down to the cervix. And the, 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 the mistake can be done that endometrial uh, uh, thickness can be measured at this uh, side. So please don't make this mistake. Endometrial thickness shouldn't be measured in a transverse view. It always in the mid sagittal view. So, and then after that, um, try to talk to the patient, try to distract her by your question, just because of that she will um, not really feel discomfort or she will try to forget about the, the pressure of the probe. And the meanwhile, try to expedite and not to uh, change the probe from transverse to mid sag and then transverse. So try to make sure that in the entry, it is a mid sagittal view. Then after that transverse view. And then after that, if you want to examine the right adenixia, so you need to just go to the upper part in a transverse view, the upper part of the uterus, which is the beginning of the fallopian tube and the adenixia to hunt for the right ovary. And it will be in a transverse view. So the sweeping in a transverse view will be up and down and then split your picture into two. Take the picture of the ovary where it is a transverse, then move the probe in a sagittal view to take the ovary into the mid sagittal view for the measurements. And then after that, uh, try to sweep and take a cine clip while you are sweeping to the adnexia, making sure there is no pathology. After that, move the probe in a transverse view and then go back to the uterus and then try to um, uh, hunt the left adnexia in a transverse view, not in a mid sagittal view, in a transverse view in which you're going to look for the left ovary again. When you look the, the ovary and you have find it, try to split the picture 
and take the measurement in a transverse view of the ovary, then go to the midsagittal view to take the midsag of the whole ovary. The Doppler will be required, not all the time, and then try to sweep all over to make sure there is no any kind of cyst or pathology behind it, and the same time to sweep the adenixia. After that, try to come in the mid sagittal view and remove the probe while it is in the mid sagittal view, the way you have entered it. So try to practice. This is the way practice and avoid doing a transverse massage because it causes discomfort to the patient. So know the direction. Try to split the picture while doing the adenixia or the ovaries so you can take the transverse and mid sagittal view for the ovaries. And then um, after that, um, uh, you're done with all your pictures with a short time frame. Uh, my advice for today, when you're doing the gynae ultrasound, so start with transabdominal, get the whole six pictures. Uh, and then after that, proceed with the transvaginal ultrasound and try as much as possible whenever you are sweeping to know how the direction of sweeping. mid sagittal view, so the sweeping will be right and left completely in trily. Uh, till the whole pictures get disappeared from the screen and then after that whenever you are changing the probe direction and it's really important to know where to change the direction it's always to be into nine o'clock for a transverse view and then you will sweep it up and down a patient will feel discomfort but try to direct her and tell her to take a breath in between try to not to squeeze the pelvis try to relax use a lot of gel uh, all these measurements will help to expedite uh, the, the the process of uh, examination and release the patient pain and discomfort uh, i have uh, two um, um, papers regarding the images of ultrasound the gynae images i'm going to also post it in my this video i hope you will get benefit inshallah and uh, take a good care uh, have a great one take care bye bye